So, in my last video, I had to make a time lapse of a 3D print here. And, uh, well, basically, I taped my phone to this here. <laughs> Just an L shaped thing. Ah, here we go. And, uh, yeah, that, that won't do. I guess it was an interesting improvised solution. But I think it's time to do something with this. So, I uh, designed this metal clan, metal L shape here, and uh, up to size, and my phone, a Motorola with a fingerprint scanner, really nice, you know, in the back. So, what? I can hear YouTube comments already. Yes. Ah, you've got an iPhone. Yes, of course, there's always gonna be someone. And you thought it was important to let us know that, right? Of course, because you're an Apple fan. Yeah. Okay, let's just continue. Right, this is gonna be a very easy design. I'm just gonna make a clamp for the phone here and print it and that's that. Very simple. I'm just gonna, you know, I think I can do this within a minute and then it's done and I've got what are you again you don't believe I can design this in a minute really you're on you're on I'm gonna do this watch me okay on my mark get set go I duplicate this separate selected with P hide this top view mm. Delete faces, um, delete edges. I'm gonna select these two lines here, snap my cursor to it. I don't need much more extrude scale, X uh, three millimeters, three, three times or so. Snap my cursor to the phone. Oh, come on, extrude scale zero. Duplicate scale Y zero. Scale Y0. This is basically the design. Fix this area. Man, I have to, that's really quick though, one minute. I'm just gonna move this upwards a bit like that. Uh, yeah. So my phone is seven and a half centimeters or so. I'm gonna move it here. Now all I need is the clamps, right? That's very simple. What? You again. Now what? Your phone is bigger. Of course. Okay, I'm gonna make some changes here, so it's not gonna be a minute. It's gonna be a minute longer or so. Okay, sure, why not? I'm just gonna split this area. Why? Um, move this downwards a bit. Like that. Fix this area. There's no faces here yet, so fix this area. And, uh, yeah, so, I'm just gonna snap my crystal here, B, just remove these vertices, X delete vertices, B, G, upwards a bit like that, duplicate scale Z minus one, like that. X2 scale Z minus one. So this is this is going to be the design. And now I'm just gonna fix this area. Fix this area. Let me hide the phone for a moment. And let's make this blue. Like that. So now you can just select this area and move it upwards and downwards a bit a bit big let's just say something like this yeah so now you can just move it for any size phone happy good okay let's continue now I need the clamps simple design simple design let me see nine millimeters like that you know it's a uh, what 
someone is talking again. I can hear the extra. Yours is thinner. Okay. Let's make it like this. And I guess it's going to be longer than two minutes. Another minute, I suppose. Let me just select this and this. Snap my cursor here. Duplicate scale Z minus one. Yeah, I'm scaling minus one is really one of these options. I should make a shortcut key for mirroring it, but X to leave faces like that. Let's just uh, X really limit this dissolve like so. Now you can fit any size phone. You just put in a screw here, and this can be moved upwards and downwards. And what? Okay, now what? Oh, you want to fit any size phone much more easily, not with screws. You're killing me! Really? Okay, okay. <sighs> you know, I mean, I can <laughs> Some people. Okay, I'm just gonna fix this. I've got an idea here. Split G, move it upwards slightly like that. Okay, extrude. Extrude, extrude. I've got a great idea. Extrude, extrude, extrude. B. Fix. So it's gonna be like this. I'm gonna fix this area. Fix this area. Snap my cursor here for a minute. Duplicate scale Z minus one. Alt C. So. Let me move it just slightly downwards a bit. So, sort of like this. This is it. So, uh, uh, what I'm going to do, I think I should put screws here and here instead of in the middle. I'm just going to delete these vertices. Fix this area. Uh, that doesn't work well. Fix this area. X. Limited dissolve. And I'm gonna put in screws here. Duplicate. G. Spin. Uh, not so many steps. Like that. Snap my cursor here. Duplicate scale minus one. See how many times I use that. Incredible. G extrude. Fix. Control F. Intersect Boolean. Hey. Normals. Normals. Yeah. Okay, let's select these. Control N is to check for normals. Control F, intersect boolean. Why doesn't it do that properly? Control F, intersect boolean. Now oh, that's better. So. going to be something like this. And now you can just uh, slide it upwards and downwards. Just put a rubber, rubber band in between here and it will clamp down and it will fit any phone easily, conveniently. You know. I'm just going to clean it up a bit and then I'll get back to you. So I came up with this design and uh, yeah, in all honesty, yeah, if you want to make a proper design you can never do it within a minute. That's just crazy. So I came up with this. And uh, special thanks to Apple Fan, of course, because you want a proper design of things and make it functional. And I think this will do the trick. So let's see. I can move this downwards seven millimeters at this point. Seven millimeters, then you have a phone 6.8 centimeters wide or something. Anything smaller, I'm sorry, you're a cheapskate. 
And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you just want to make phone calls on your Nokia 3310, I can relate. But at some point you gotta go with the time, really. Anyway, if you want to make it smaller, you can just move this downwards a bit like that. Easy to adjust. On the other hand, this thing can move up like 15 millimeters or so, I think. We'll find out. Anything bigger? Well, I'm sorry, there's no excuse there. You're compensating. Let's print. I put these parts on the floor like this. Let me see, is it all triangulated? Yes. File, export, STL, phone 3, and I'm gonna do selection only, add, phone 3, open. There it is. So let's take a look how this works out. Uh, let's see, layers. I hope it can bridge because there's uh, something here. So let's see if it can bridge. That doesn't look like bridging to me. And I know what the problem is. I was struggling with this, uh, this a bit, so this point is at Z 1.699999 and this part is at 1.7 and somehow it doesn't see this as a straight plane so I'm just gonna snap shift S selection to grid and now it's all at 1.7 height now let's see how this does that looks more like bridging to me so let's hope it can bridge properly I changed some settings here. Uh, let's look at the print settings. Uh, speed, for instance. Uh, bridge speed is 40. That might be. I might need to put that at 50 or so, but let's make it 40. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, I'm gonna travel speed at 60. Let's put that at 50. First layer speed, fine. Uh, let me see, where is it? advanced bridge flow ratio you know you want to uh, extrude a le little bit less 0 0.8 for instance and hopefully it will bridge properly yeah so this is the result let me get one of those uh, L shaped brackets see how it fits yeah, a bit too tight, a little bit too tight. This part fits nicely, but the bridging is terrible. So I'm gonna have to clean this out. Oh man, these are tiny. Yeah, let's see how this works out. So I filed it down a bit. And now we have to see how it fits. Pretty cool, and uh, this bridge, I just, uh, the bridge layer, I, it was very easy to file it away actually, it just came off. So, let's get some screws in there. Screws, I've got screws here, see, this is the two second rule. I guess you don't know what that means just yet, but I'll explain. Anything I need in this area, screwdriver, screws, this thing for instance, I can get it within two seconds. You're working on something and you spend half the time searching where did I put that, where did I put that, where did I put that. That's such a waste of time, really, and it's completely unnecessary if you just create a discipline that you put everything where it belongs once you're done with some job and eventually that really pays off because it, it might be a nuisance just to clean up sometimes for some people but it's a much bigger nuisance to keep running around like a headless chicken looking for your stuff you want to be focused at what you're doing 
and I have some margin with the two second rule again it can be three seconds no sometimes I've uh, misplaced stuff as well like last time I was looking for yeah my caliper and it was in the print room I never brought it back so I've been looking throughout the house and then I found it so it's supposed to go this way this one is going like this perfect fit yeah you should really take account of how the layers how you print the layers and the holes and stuff Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful rubber band. Mm -hmm. Okay, make that three seconds. This one is Nocatel, which is a very slim phone as well. You can just put your fingers around it. Hmm. Well, it holds, but barely. It can drop out, but I, I should make this a couple of millimeters, five millimeters smaller, or three millimeters smaller. Right. Or I could put rubbers in there. I could just glue in some rubber. Do I have rubber? No. I don't think so. I don't think I can run into the store in two seconds. So, um, may oh, maybe we could use shrink wrap. I could glue this on. But as for now, it's a nice design. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try it on. This phone, that phone over there, the phone you're looking at right now, it's a phone. I really should get a decent camera though. So let me clean up. Always, once the job is finished, clean up. So this thing is going in the tripod. I could actually print this as well as part of this. But at this point, I think, well, this is nice. You can fit it on to anything you'd like, your bike or whatever. I don't know. But if it's going to be on a bike, you definitely need some rubbers. And maybe something that clamps on the sides as well. I don't know. Let's see. Screws. Um, I think that could be an M4 or M5. What do I have? This would suffice, I guess, or maybe even this one, I guess. Let's see if this, it fits through here. Yeah, I'm going to fit this through here. Oh, I need a Phillips screwdriver. And I need a decent camera for this video. This autofocus is really annoying. So, this is how the phone will fit. Hmm. I guess. So, all in all, <laughs> a pretty interesting mount, I would say. Nice. So, it's uh, nice and tight. I can just move it around like this. I bet you're getting seasick if I'm doing that too much. Final cabinet, scope, soldering stations. Up there we've got uh, more filing cabinets that I talked about. Make sure you're organized. And of course my, uh, how do you call that? Magnifying glass. And uh, Gotcha. You know, this two second rule, 
uh, doesn't mean you have to get things perfect though because then you replace one problem with another you know getting it perfect takes a lot of time too so instead of looking for stuff you just want to be as organized as possible make it as clean as possible and then you will be spending a lot of time on that so that's what's the difference then right so yeah there is a certain balance to things I'm at Thingiverse and my god I just logged in and I didn't even post any videos on this I didn't even search for this and it's already presenting me with this file here I don't know how they found out that I was working on this or it's just a coincidence but this is looking really good though wow a lot more work too I have a very simple design and I wouldn't take it on a with you on a bike with this one or the other there it is he made a really interesting design for this a lot of parts I've done it like according to KISS principle basically keep it simple stupid anyway let's move on to my account my computer I guess I'm gonna upload the phone.blend and the phone.stl yeah so I posted it on Thingiverse but this is freaking slow I'm gonna have to well s switch over to GrabCat or just on my own website or something. It's time to move to GrabCat instead of uh, Thingiverse, so I put it here as well. And besides, you can actually watch the 3D pro properly. I think I like GrabCat better. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you all later. On to the next video.